Are you there, Jennifer? Can you hear me? Technical difficulties. Can you hear me? Hi, Mike. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Did you connect to your camera or no? Maybe you can't hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Jennifer. Let's see. Hopefully we'll have her on here in just a minute. It never fails, right? Technology never fails. Let's see if we can get her back on here in just a sec. But welcome all of you who are here. Appreciate you being here. And hopefully we'll have Jennifer on in just a second to um, tell her story um, and talk about her move from Berkshire Hathaway to eXp and just share some general information about um, her business. So give me just a sec here and hopefully we can bring her back in. Unfortunately, we can't do the show through text message. So we're going to have to get her on live here. Okay, give me two minutes and we'll have her back on. She's hooking back in from her laptop. So thanks for being here, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, we're going to do more of these. We're going to talk to more agents um, across the United States. Um, 
maybe even around the world um, about the fastest growing company uh, our fastest growing real estate company in uh, in North America right now. And uh, certainly um, I'm using this uh, Facebook Live uh, and podcast, our Agent Revolution podcast as a platform for um, for agents uh, who are, you know, considering a move uh, or just know that there is a better way to do business or who are just curious um, to to know what their competition is doing. And so that's what's you know so exciting for me to do here is just to be able to to share that with you guys um, and um, and hopefully if we can get Jennifer on we can uh, we can get to her story. I know she was trying to log in from her uh, mobile phone and uh, for whatever reason that just didn't work. So we've got her logging in from a laptop. So just a second here and we will have Jennifer on. So thanks for being here and um, thanks for being patient with me. I feel like I should just do like a intermission or um, what does it do? What they do before like movies. If I had some previews to run, I'd be running some previews for you. But um, I guess in the comments, I will leave a place for you to go um, so that you can skip all the white noise uh, and having to wait uh, to get Jennifer on. But uh, she is trying to reconnect from her laptop right now. So hopefully we can have her on here in just a minute. Uh oh, something's happening. Yay! I see Hi. you. I see you. <laughs> you made it. Yes. How are you? I know um, I did make it. There's just a little bit of technical difficulties here, but I'm yeah, on. No Hello. No Thank you for making it. Did, did Misty make it with you, or is it just you? Um, it's just gonna be me. Okay. Yes. Cool. We're we're good with that. We're good with that. So you and I talked briefly before um before this Facebook event and this podcast. Um, we talked a, a little bit about like what the platform is for, and it's really just it's so that you hopefully can connect with somebody listening to uh to this Facebook Live or to this podcast, and really it's just about you telling your unique story about transitioning from Berkshire Hathaway where you were at to EXP where you were at now, and then everything that happened in between. So. Um, with that being said, why don't yeah, we just get started uh, and, and tell our audience just a little bit about you. How long have you been in real estate? Uh, yeah, so my name is Jennifer Brisenio. I've been in um, real estate for for 10 years. I absolutely love it. I love to be part of the buying and selling process with buyers and sellers. My clients absolutely mean the world to me. And I'm just super, super blessed that I get to be part of uh, such an exciting time and a big investment for buyers and sellers out there. And I, so 10 years I've been in real estate. I started off with Cherry Creek Properties then moved over to Remax and then moved over to Berkshire. Um, I just, it's been about 30 days now since I've been with EXP and I absolutely loved it. Love it. I, um, I've interviewed with a lot of different brokerage firms and EXP is honestly like the only it's such a unique model. It's the only model I've ever seen that offers some of these great benefits for agents. And, um, you know, it's as agents, we don't really have like any retirement plans in place. And EXP, that was one of the, the biggest things I loved about EXP is they do have like a great program for to be able to purchase company stock at a 20% discount. They have 
the opportunity to be able to make residual income. They have an awesome technology platform and a great lead generation for, for agents, which I think is really important. As a team leader, it's important to be able to provide my, my um, agents leads and with you know the lead generation program that exp offers it helps me out even a little bit more with being able to provide leads to my team and i just seen um just a huge growth opportunity by joining exp realty and you know they just have great just it's just a great company and i'm just super excited to be here um i came over from berkshire hathaway i was uh, the number one number one team in the state of Colorado for Berkshire Hathaway um, for residential units. So I was super excited to be able to accomplish accomplish that. I'm very, very blessed and thankful to all my clients for, for trusting us and letting us help with their real estate needs. Right, that's awesome. That's a mouthful there. So let's dig into that just a little bit. I know, um, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. You're good. You're good. Yeah. I, I think that um, I think that I think that uh, folks listening to this will definitely connect with a lot of what you said. So, when you talk about being the number one team at Berkshire Hathaway in the state of Colorado, what what does that mean? Like, how many units did you guys do, or what was your dollar volume last year, and uh, how did that how did that shape out? Yeah. So um, we have. We, we were part of the Gold Chairman Circle, awarded the top 2% in the network for Berkshire Hathaway. Um, and we have, I mean, we're, we're, pretty, we're a pretty busy team. I, I would say myself, just, just as of to date, I've already helped 50 families um, purchase and sell homes. To okay. date, as of this year, so you know, I stay I stay pretty pretty busy and active in helping a lot of buyers and sellers. Um, we do, you know, over forty million in in um, volume, so it's 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 pretty Very exciting. Cool. That is yeah. awesome, Jennifer. So let let me ask you this: so how how is your team currently structured? So I have three buyers agents: Misty Tarnowski. Brian Boko, Andrea Peralta, and then I have a my transaction coordinator, Rhonda Lombardi, and then we have I have an admin um, staff. So I have Christy Haley. She does like all of our office admin, and then I have my marketing person. Her name is Bobby. So we have a marketing person, an admin assistant, a transaction coordinator, and then I have my my three buyers agents. Got it. And so you're running so you're running um, listing appointments exclusively at this point. Um, I, like I still, I love to still work with buyers. Um, so, so I do, I mean, I still work with buyers as well. I, okay. I love to be out there with my buyers. So yeah, I do, I do both listings and, and I work with buyers too. Awesome. Okay. And, and, and so you guys, you, you, you said you'd been over about 30 days now, right? Uh, yes, it's been, it's almost 30, going to be almost 30 days. Yes. Okay. And, and so one thing I always ask everybody is talk about like talk about when you first heard about EXP. Um, talk about did you move like right away or was that something that you know um, like most of us like we hear about it and then it doesn't it doesn't resonate right away like you know some time goes by and then you know we keep hearing about it and hearing about it and then you know and then there's the day that we just decide to you know to move and so for you when did you hear about EXP and uh, and what was your reaction when you heard about it. Uh, so I heard about it, I want to say a couple of months ago, I think it was back in June is when I first heard about it. And I, you know, right away when I heard about it, I was, I was, I got really excited because I'm like, oh my goodness, they have a really cool model. Like I've never seen, um, a model, a company platform like that before. And so I was, it, it definitely caught my interest when I started hearing about the benefits that it offers. And I just kind of started to, you know, just think about it. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, this this is a really great opportunity to to be able to join a company that has some of these great benefits, um, you know, to be to offer to agents and buyers and sellers as well. But it's yeah. yeah so it, it was back in June when I first heard about it. I thought about it for a while. I talked to my team about it and I just started, you know, learning more about the company. And the more I started learning, the more I was like, this is a great opportunity. And I, I want to be, I want to join sooner than later. And my only regret at this point is not joining sooner um, than, than what I, when I did just recently join. Like most but of us, that, that's, that's most of our regrets, by the way. Yeah. So I certainly understand that. So 
for you was was it I, I'm always I'm always intrigued by because I you know I have a team as well and I'm always intrigued by so w- obviously when a team leader hears about something how they approach their team and and I think maybe everybody approaches that situation a little bit differently but um, mm-hmm. but for you what did that look like so you heard about the opportunity at EXP and then immediately when you decided that you were going to act on it the first thing you needed to do was talk to those folks who who work for you right and so how did you do how did you do that how did you approach that uh, so I just I you, we had our team meeting we meet every week and I told them I came across a great opportunity uh, where I feel like not only can I grow but they can grow as well and we you know I just kind of talked to them and they my team really trusts me I mentor them very closely and I'm you know, I help them every step of the way with real estate. And so they do have a lot of trust in me. And I went over, you know, the benefits of EXP, the residual income, being able to purchase company stock at a 20% discount, the lead lead technology program that they offer, and just, you know, some of the other benefits that EXP has to offer. And they were, you know, really, really excited about it as well. I mean, even the commission structure that EXP offers um, is really awesome as well. And having the opportunity to be an icon agent with EXP is, is super cool too. So they were just, I mean, they were really, they were pretty excited about it when I told them about it. They, they have a lot of trust in me. And so what I, what I say, they just, they kind of just go with, go with the flow yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and trust what I say, but they were, they were pretty excited about it too. Um, you know, it's change and change is always good. Sometimes people don't like change because they don't like to step outside the comfort zone, but that's really right. when, when you have that true growth is stepping outside that comfort zone and being able to grow and, and move forward with different opportunities. Yeah. I could not agree more. I think that, you know, you're right. It's, um, you know, as team leaders, it's not ever that we're looking for change, but we are, as team leaders, we also have a responsibility to change if we find an opportunity that's not only better for us, but for the folks that work with us and who are, you know, who are loyal to us. And so I think, you know, for you, when you brought the idea to your folks and said, you know, you know, I'm thinking about doing this, this company, here, here's what I like about this company is like, you probably, um, you probably got buy-in right away because you, you are you have people that are loyal to you and your systems your tools your processes and, and then you were just simply providing a better platform correct yes it was a definitely a, a different platform and they were excited about it excited about the change and excited about the growth opportunity as well that, so did you get any pushback at all uh not, I mean, not really. They, they, I mean, they had a lot of questions. Um, we went and met with Kevin, one of our other partners, and he's been amazing and great. And I'm super blessed to have him on the team as well. And he just, you know, answered some questions. I mean, I think any agent when they're changing companies, there's always going to be those questions, those concerns that they have, but they're so, but as far as like the pushback, I mean, there wasn't too much. It was just more of like questions and and, um, you know, what's what's the process here and there, just technical things. But right. but it's been a really good move. And everybody on the team is very excited to have made the move. And, you know, I, I find also that, you know, you probably didn't get a lot of pushback because you did your due diligence before, you know, making the move. And, and so what you had was just individuals who had questions that you were able to answer because you had already been educated and you could provide those answers for them. That is correct. Yes, I did. I, I heard about EXP back in June and I did do my due diligence and did my research on it. And I really felt like it was a great move for us and um, excited that we made the move. Like I said, my only regret is just not making it sooner because I think it is a really, a really great platform, a great program, a great, great everything for agents. And so if agents sure. are on the fence about EXP. It's definitely a great, great opportunity. You should definitely explore it. No doubt. So my question to you also then is like, and if you're able to talk about this, uh, because I think, you know, again, hopefully there will be people that uh, are with Berkshire Hathaway now, which is a great company. Um, how is, how did you approach Berkshire? I mean, you're the number one agent for Berkshire Hathaway in the state of Colorado. So, I mean, I guess you have to be a little bit careful in the approach with, with 
with Berkshire because obviously you mean a lot to them. So was that scary for you? Was that something that was hard for you to do? Uh, it is hard because I, I love, um, I love the broker owner, Scott. He's amazing. I love him and his wife so much. And, you know, they, they truly mean a lot to me and I have a great friendship with them. And so it's always hard because I don't, I don't want to hurt anybody in the process. And, and so, yeah, it was, it was a little tough to, to, um, you know, let them know that I was leaving, but Scott, Scott's an amazing person and he has an amazing company and, you know, was very supportive of it and, you know, definitely just an overall amazing, amazing person and was, was very supportive of it. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think that, you know, certainly that makes it a lot easier when you move. If you can, if you can approach somebody with, with, um, with respect um, and just let them know. And, and you know what I find, Jennifer, is that if you, if somebody really, if you've truly created a relationship or a friendship with somebody, and you're moving on for something that you feel is better for you, then you should get support from that person. And that doesn't always happen, but maybe in your case it did. And, and so that is, uh, you know, kudos to Scott, uh, your, your broker owner, because it sounds like, uh, you know, he's, he's a good guy and approached it the right way. Yeah. He's a, he's a great person. Very, very blessed to know him as well. So talk about your, I mean, now you're 30 days in now. Um, you're at a point now in your business where you've already helped 50 buyers and sellers so far in 2018. And I'm sure you have uh, big aspirations of probably hitting that 100 mark. Um, talk about your experience since moving to eXp. Has it been, you know, has it, are you guys, I mean, are you guys still connecting on the same level? Has it hurt your business? Has it helped your business? I mean, are you guys, how, how, Talk about that. Yeah, it hasn't. It definitely hasn't. As it hasn't hurt my business at all. I mean, anytime you move to a new company, there's always that transition, the onboarding process that you go through with any company. But for for the most part, it's been it's been pretty smooth. Um, we, you know, they're it's a pretty they give you pretty good instructions on everything to do step by step, and it's just a it's just time consuming. I would say not as far as like the agent goes, but just the process of the onboarding, getting you fully onboarded. Um, you know, right. EXP as a company is growing super fast. So I think there's agents all over the United States joining all the time. So I think the onboarding department, you know, just, just trying to keep up with everybody that's been onboarding. But it, overall, yeah. it was it was pretty smooth. That definitely didn't hurt my business in any, any way. Um, I, I do wish I would have ordered like signs and all of that sooner than later because that's that stuff does take time to come in. But right. other than that, it's it's been it's been pretty smooth and happy made, we made the transition. Awesome. So let me ask you this, like what does revenue share mean to you and what does it mean to your team? Um, so it just means that having the opportunity to make residual income and be able to help each other as, as a whole. So, um, you know, just joining, growing your team, they have an opportunity to, to have the potential to, even if they don't want to be a team leader, they still have the potential to make, to make money in addition to not having to be a team, team leader. So it's just, you know, just kind of, as a team, as, as they continue to grow, just having that opportunity to make that additional income in addition right. to what they're, to what they're currently doing with real estate. Which, you know, obviously I came from KW, um, you came from Berkshire Hathaway, KW offered profit share, um, but it was never to the level of, of what we've done at, at, or with revenue share at eXp. And so for you, when you talk about revenue share, you are adding this totally new component um, to, to the people that were already serving you, um, and your clients. So, you know, you, you I guess, the, you know, the big thing for me, especially with my group, when we brought them over is the fact that, you know, you could, you could, as a team leader, offer them something that you could never offer them before. But not only that, you were creating an opportunity to keep your top talent because, you know, you could provide uh, them an opportunity to go out and build uh, the folks that were in their revenue share group and continue to make residual incomes that way. That's correct. Exactly. They have an opportunity to grow multiple ways with the XP platform. That's great, man. So you, so let me ask, ask you this. You talked about a partnership with Kevin. Um, what is, what is the, what does the future look like for you at EXP? Where are you taking this thing? 
Um, well, I definitely, I always set really, really big goals for myself. So, <laughs> and I love to accomplish my goals, but I, I, you know, I see XP as being a long-term, long-term place for me. And I'm just, um, I'm just excited to, to grow. I mean, I, like I said, I, I love working with my buyers and sellers. I love being able to help other agents too in the industry. I have a lot of realtor friends and love to be able to share with them things that, you know, companies that I feel like will benefit them as well. So I just feel like there's just a lot of growth, growth opportunity with EXP and um, definitely see it in my future long term. That's awesome. So, our, I mean, our, you must like I get out of bed and I'm excited every day, not just about bringing our team over to EXP, but being able to talk to other agents about that. I mean, are, are, are you kind of feel the same way? I mean, are you talking to a lot of agents about it? Yeah, I do. It, it is exciting because it's such a unique platform uh there's not a lot of like i said I've, I've never seen a platform like this before so i am very excited about it i do tell my realtor friends like you got to check it out it's so cool and it's just really awesome the benefits that we have and the growth growth potential with it as an individual and as a team it's just so it's just very exciting so yeah i do i i love to share it with with um my realtor friends and you, I, I mean, do you find now that, I mean, obviously you came over from a big company. Do you find now that people from Berkshire Hathaway are reaching out to you and asking you, hey, Jennifer, like, you know, you're the number one agent for Berkshire Hathaway in Colorado. Why in the heck did you leave? <laughs> um, yeah, so I've had, I definitely have had a, some agents, um, not, not necessarily with Berkshire Hathaway, but a lot of my um, realtor friends I've had reach out to me and ask me questions about why I made the move and you know I'm excited to share with them why I made the move and but yes I have had definitely have had agents reach out to me and ask me about that's great why I made yeah them. so uh, you know I'm we're, we'll bring this to an end here but I'm curious like I think that, I'm so, losing your mic Sarah can you turn your volume up just a little bit more yeah 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 let me turn Sorry. it up can you hear me <laughs> can you hear me can you, yeah can you hear me now um, it's a little quiet, but I'll, I'll go closer to the camera. As I can. All right. I've got really one more big question for you right now. So what uh -huh. would you tell that broker or that agent who is out there listening, uh, or will listen to this podcast, um, that's thinking about moving to EXP, um, or just wants to learn more about it? What would you tell that, that individual? Uh, I would tell the, the agents, uh, don't don't wait if you're on the fence and you're thinking about moving. Um, EXP is growing so fast, and to be able to join a, a company like this that has the opportunities that it has early on is is huge. And like I said, my only regret is not doing it sooner. So if it's something that you've been exploring or wanting to move to, definitely look into it sooner than later. And any questions that you have, ask them because it is it's definitely a decision. I'm happy I made, and I, I definitely don't regret making the move either. Awesome. Jennifer Brasino, if somebody wants to connect with you to ask you questions about eXp, how do they do that? Yeah, so they can um, absolutely have a love to talk to anybody that wants to connect. They can they can call my cell number. Uh, my I could go ahead and give it now. It's 720-472-2100. Uh, and that's 720-472-2131. Or they can also email me. My email address is myrealtortoday at gmail.com. And I would love to talk to anybody, answer any questions. I am um, definitely here if anybody wants to talk. Awesome. Well, I know you are a busy, busy lady. I know we talked and I know you've got a, probably a team in there that's waiting to... Uh, to hear their fearless team leader talk today. So I so appreciate your time and I uh, hope we cross paths again. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a really wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Jennifer. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.